Osprey Settle 30. If you follow my channel for a while, you know that I have done a ton of Osprey bag videos. I've owned a bunch, I've reviewed a bunch. I love Osprey packs. If only Osprey loved me as much as I love them, you'd see a bunch more of their stuff. Sadly, the relationship is one side, so you get what you get. Nonetheless, I have had this bag for about a year. I've taken it all over the world, all over the country, a bunch of trips, and finally, I'm getting around to doing a video on it. The Shuttle series comes in two sizes. This is the Shuttle 30, 30 being the vertical inches. There's also a Shuttle 36, which is 36 inches tall. The 30 is a 100 liter bag. The 36 is a 130 liter bag. The rest of the dimensions on them, the 30 is 30 inches tall by 16 across by 14 deep, and the 36 is 36 by 16 by 15 deep. Now of note, the maximum checked bag size in full dimensions for most airlines is 62 inches. So you add up the dimensions. So this one, 30 by 16 by 14 gives you 60 inches under the limit, but the 36 inch bag comes to 67 inches. Now how much you're gonna get hassled by that with airlines, I don't know. I have a friend that owns the 36. He's taken on a bunch of trips, never had a problem but it is a risk. Also, the other thing, maximum check bag weight is generally 50 pounds. This bag weighs 8.16 pounds and the 36 weighs 9.13 pounds. And you can load it up as much as you want on top of that. The 36 especially, you could probably easily get up over 50 pounds. So again, it's a risk. You may or may not have to pay for the oversized bag fees. Price on these, 289 for the 30, 319 for the 36. I'll put some links down below and you can check them out as always. These bags come in two colors. They come in a red and a charcoal. I love the red because having taken this on a bunch of trips, watching this thing come out of the carousel and go around with the other luggage, this red color, you can't miss it. If someone's walking away with your bag, you're not gonna miss it. It's very easy to see. If you want something a little bit more conservative, you can get the charcoal, but I love the nice vibrant red. Like I said, I've taken it all over and holding up wise, there are maybe just a few scuffs on the red, but overall, it's not been a problem, it's not getting dirty, it's not really wearing from all the planes and stuff and the ground that it's been on, so it holds up well, even with the lighter color. If you're concerned about it, again, get the charcoal. Now let's have a look at the construction of the bag. There are three carry handles, one on each side and one on the top. Those carry handles are nice and padded, but they're flat enough and streamlined enough so that they're, for the most part, not going to catch on things as you're wheeling it by them. On the back here, there's a handle that comes up. It is one position because the bag is kind of tall-ish anyway. The only thing I would say with this is having walked through a bunch of airports and places with this, as I'm walking it, because it's not that tall, every so often my foot will get caught on the back of the bag as I'm pulling this behind me. So if this was maybe a little bit taller, it might be nice, but that's the only sort of complaint I've had in that way. Otherwise, it tucks back out of the way. On the bottom is their plastic chassis with some protection guards here. Again, it's been all over. Scuffed wise, it is holding up pretty well for all the cement and stuff it's been on. The wheels are four inch wheels with casters and they're still spinning, no problem. Red wheels to match the bag, nice touch. That frame goes up the back with some aluminum here for a little extra rigidity. And then there are some hard plastic pieces here such that when you put it down, it's gonna keep it protected from the ground and provide a nice stable platform. Also on the back here, as long as we're looking at it, there are two pockets. There is a large pocket here, which goes in here inside this. There's a small mesh pocket. I love that it's green on the inside so you can see. This goes all the way down in there and down to the bottom here where there is a small drain hole so if you put something wet in there, it will drain out. There is then this other pocket here. This pocket goes down to right here. Now, one of my complaints that I've had about this bag for a year is that this bag, as far as I knew, did not have a place to put a luggage tag. And so I was attaching it up here. It got torn off by the airline. It was very frustrating to me. And you know, I'm a kind of a bag guy. I have bought a lot of bags. I've reviewed a lot of bags. Turns out this does have a spot for a luggage tag. I just didn't realize it. And it is right here. It's actually labeled ID and you lift it up and it goes in this flap right here. You can just feed it in there. Now, my only concern about that is that it's hidden so if this bag disappears, if you have a luggage tag up here, easy to see, it's flopping around, the airline people are gonna see it. Will they know to look in here for it? I don't know. I, like I said, I, I'm a bag guy. I've had this bag for a while. I didn't know that was there. Admittedly, I don't put a lot in this pocket back here, but will they think to look back here for your luggage tag? I don't know. I do wish it was kind of out and exposed so you could see it a little bit easier. 
maybe a little mesh pocket right here or something. But there's a spot for the hidden luggage tag. On the front here, there are a couple pockets. On the top, there's a pocket here. That is a pretty large pocket. I'll show you when I open it how big it is. And then inside that pocket, there is yet another mesh pocket that you can put some stuff in. There are also a couple little keepers, or I don't know what you would call these little tabs here and here and here, such that if you wanted to attach a luggage tag to one of those, you could do that. You could put it around the handle, some other options for that. Up in here, there is a strap that comes out so that if you wanted to attach another bag to this, feed this through the other bag, you put it up here, and then that bag can hang here. So if you're wheeling this, you don't have to carry that other bag. It will just kind of drape right there. Otherwise, if you don't need this, just tuck that in there out of the way. On the bottom here, there is another pocket. Zips around. In here, you could put shoes. You could, I've seen people put sleeping bags. If you're not using this, this pocket will just fill in from the inside and it just makes the inside of the bag bigger. But if you want something separate, dirty clothes, whatever, you can put them in there and then that zips up. The main zipper here is lockable. Just put these two tabs together and there's a spot for a suitcase lock to go right through there. I also love the tab pulls, nice big pieces of rubber. There are these two compression straps and on each side there are sort of these wings and the wings help give it a little bit more rigidity and kind of protect the bag when it's closed. So open those and this zips down. In here right now I just have a sleeping bag. But to show you, in the top here there is another mesh pocket. Runs the length of the bag. And then the inside is just one large pocket. So here's the inside of the bag. There are some compression straps here. If you want to cinch your stuff down once you put it in there, that top pocket that I showed you is right here. Pretty large, but if you don't want it, it just folds right up and out of the way if you're not putting anything in it. Also on each side, there are two more pockets. There's a pocket here, runs the length of the bag. And on the other side, there is a mesh pocket. Runs the length of the bag. So plenty of options for some internal storage in there. And then, like I said, that pocket on the bottom that is here. It is actually a really big pocket. It's almost, you know, almost half the size of the bag in there. If you were so inclined, so you could put a sleeping bag or a bunch of stuff in there. It's just obviously going to take up a bunch of space inside the bag, but it's always an option. I don't usually put much in there, but sometimes some shoes just kind of depends. Now, how much can you fit in this bag? E-bags, medium packing cubes. If you have not used packing cubes, I highly recommend them. I'll put some links down below, but these are the medium ones. I use these for every trip. Putting them inside here. Three of them pretty much fills the bag up. There is maybe space for another one here. It would be snug but you could potentially fit a fourth tall one. But otherwise, three of them, for the most part, gets right up to the edge. So three tall, three deep, whichever way you want to go, and then two, two tall. Three deep, two tall. So about six medium packing cubes will fill up this bag. Now, depending on if you put stuff in this bottom pocket, it's going to push these up, so there's not going to be as much space. Or if you put stuff in this top pocket, not going to be as much space. That's why I say about six of the medium packing cubes is the capacity of what this bag will hold. As I mentioned, there is a little bit of space on top of it. So six plus maybe one or two more, give or take, because this will fill in some right in here. Now, one other comparison with this bag is that Eagle Creek recently came out with their Gear Warrior series. This is the Gear Warrior 34 inch bag, 110 liter. And as you can see, it is four inches taller than the Osprey Shuttle 30. 110 liters, 100 liters, they both weigh exactly the same on my scale, but you are going to get a little bit more space with that Eagle Creek. Also the Eagle Creek, 
spot for a luggage tag right here that you can see. So just interesting note there. I was wondering about the size before I got it. Comparison and there is the size comparison for you. So that's about it. The Osprey Shuttle 30. It's a great bag. Plenty of space. If you need extra space, get the Shuttle 36 or check out that Eagle Creek one. Watch for a video of that separately. But otherwise, I will catch you in the next bag video. Have a great day.